Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your September reading. This is a monthly reading. Um, this is for the sign of Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus because typically my readings are love readings. So um, yeah, so we're going to get two of these and we're going to break into that deck. You guys are second in line this month. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. We got a couple. I only need one more. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Hmm. You have to trust your intuition. Trust, trust that everything happens for a reason. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know for September? Now keep in mind that this may not resonate until the end of the month, so you may want to come back and watch it later. Oh, Six of Cups. You know, this is memories of the past or memories of what love is supposed to be like. They could be reawakened. Your memories of love, what love feels like, could be reawakened. Mm. You guys have been, done some healing, huh? You've done some healing. Um, divine timing, perhaps. Something could be coming around that you have been waiting for. Interesting. Three of Cups. There could be a reunion. Happiness. Now, for some of you, there could be a reunion with somebody from your past. For some of you, it could be somebody from a past life because the Six of Cups can often signify somebody from a past life. Okay? That you haven't met in this lifetime yet. So I feel as though... You know, something that you have been waiting for is coming around. There's an opportunity to rejoice, you know, to celebrate. I see happiness. Becoming alive again. At the end of a difficult time, the end of a break. So if you guys have been going through some sort of recuperation, you may be starting to come out of it. You've done a lot of healing. You have. Something has served you very well. This time, a par or this break that you've been going through has really served you. You guys have freed yourself from something. The Ten of Wands reversed. This is a conscious change. A change has been made. Some heavy burden has been released. You've healed from something you have. Or you're going to be. Balance is being restored. Seriously. With these two cards mirroring each other, some sort of balance is being restored in your life. With this card as well. Some sort of of balancing out is coming back to you. Oh, so you guys are probably feeling insecure at this time. The Five of Pentacles, you're feeling insecure. 
unable to trust with this Ace of Swords. And that's why this is here. You know, you are like, I don't know if I can trust. I'm so worried. I'm so worried about a third party situation or about getting burned again. Getting burned. You've been burned, right? You've been burned and you may be a little resentful. You know, still, even though you've done a little healing, it's like, damn. You know, it's a gamble. It is. It is a gamble to allow yourself to be happy again. You have to have trust. You have to have faith. Now, the Temperance card is also a card of purpose. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe one of your life lessons is trust. Because that's a big, huge life lesson for many. To be able to trust. Again, after being hurt really badly and burned. Let me get this focused in. I'm going to just move this right down here. What the heck, right? Might as well. So, let's get some clarifiers here. It feels like this is a month of allowing yourself to be happy. Maybe you're just deciding to date, to put yourself out there, and you need to have faith, and you need to have trust, and you need to be able to open your heart. You know? You need to make that effort. That's what this one is. Make that effort. Nine of coins. This is uh, abundance. Enjoying life. Enjoying the finer things in life. This is self-love, self-respect. Knowing what you're worth. You have a lot to offer and you know that. And somebody is has really cut you. <laughs> It's evident. It's evident that you you have your boundaries. You know, you've 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 had your uh, the lines are up, okay, and you're afraid of of opening, stepping outside. You know, you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. You're afraid of that. It's like, damn, I've been hurt really badly. Somebody has really lied to you, okay. You've dealt with a liar. You have, and you may be dealing with a liar right now. I don't know. But I think that a lot of this is in the past. I feel like right now you, you're, you're worried that somebody is all talk. You know, you're dealing with a big talker. Or you could be dealing with somebody who's all talk. You definitely have a liar in, the, in this reading. Whether it's somebody that you're dealing with now or somebody that you've dealt with in the past. You have an untrustworthy individual, you know, that is prominent in this reading. And it's not you. So all you cross watchers can kick rocks, okay, as far as that goes. Cancer is dealing with somebody that is not being honest or they have in the past, okay? I feel as though you're dealing with somebody who sticks their nose in where it doesn't belong and causes problems for you, or you have been, okay? But you know, you can see right through it, all right? Yeah, so there's like a, a disconnection here in a partnership. There is. There's, there's been a breakup or there's been a loss of a partnership that has caused some bitterness. Okay, it has. I feel at this point, um, you may not feeling, be feeling like you can love at this point or, or something like that. I know that you're a lover, but I see that there's some... distraction in the love arena of some sort you know it's about working together it's about compromising it's about appreciating you and I'm not sure that whoever you're dealing with or have been dealing with appreciated you they didn't put in the effort and it feels like now you're I think that you have realized that you have a better opportunity you probably have you probably have realized you know what that I do have a better opportunity I know that I do but let it but but trusting again and having faith again is is the is the ticket you know you might not have faith 
in a partnership because of this person that burned you. But you realize what, that you're worthy and that you have other options or that you know, you know, that this person, you realize that this person wasn't good for you and there's got to be something better. So you have an opportunity for a new beginning here to start over. To start a new journey and not take the baggage with you. The fool only takes to that little bag he's carrying. That's all he's taking with him on his journey. And that's typically his past life experiences in that bag. Okay? And then, like I said, past life here. And then we have, re this is um, releasing baggage. So I feel like you guys are starting on a new journey without this past partner whoever it was you know what I mean it's like I'm ready I'm ready to fly free you know I'm free from this I and I realize that I'm free from this oh look at that so you guys are mastering your emotions and you're headed in the right direction I see you know that you guys are taking the lead feeling very confident and I love it I do you know there's an opportunity for you guys to have victory and success in your life because you guys are are finding the discipline and the willpower to take it into your own hands you know and to start over and I feel like there is an opportunity for a new beginning here perhaps with a new a new love okay somebody that is very well balanced, somebody that you deserve, somebody that will put in that equal amount of effort, somebody that really comes into your life and balances you out, because I see a lot of balance here. So there is an opportunity to get what you deserve, because you guys have found the discipline to release the past baggage. The only problem is this Ace of Wands reverse. It's like... Mm. <laughs> that hurt damn it so yeah you've released it but it's still it's still down there right it's it's it. and you know it's hard to let stuff go it is you know whatever's happening whatever has happened has happened to bring you growth three 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 threes are about growth threes are about change the threes are your prayers have been heard this suffering that you have been through with whoever this person is that broke your heart that stabbed you that burned you happened for a reason it happened to bring you something better it happened to teach you something there was a lesson in it it has to do with what you deserve to teach you what you deserve. Self-respect is, is an issue here as well. Whatever happened has taught you about self-respect. About what you're worth. Even though it cut like a knife. You guys are in charge this month. You are in charge. And I feel like something is going on behind the scenes that is working in your favor. Mm. You know, there could be there could be a reunion or a reconciliation with somebody that you have known before. And maybe this has been waiting for that divine timing that I mentioned earlier. I feel like something is going to happen that reveals something to you that has been hidden for a while. There's going to be some sort of revelation or epiphany that comes to the surface that helps you along your transformation. Allows you to continue to release because the judgment is releasing. It's releasing the past to forgive. Maybe there's a person that's going to come in to help you to heal. Because this is healing. That helps you to start over. This is wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for... 
a lot of happiness and abundance here. It's like there's a new door opening for you. And it's because you guys take action. And you face your fears. You know what that fear is? Trust. Your fear of trusting again. You have to trust. Yeah, you guys are moving on from something. Moving to a much better place. And I think it's with somebody that is going to put in the equal amount of effort that you put in. But you guys have lost hope. You've lost hope in love. Don't let your insecurities mess up a happy situation, a good thing. Because I can see that there's insecurities here. And lack of faith. The star card reverse is lack of faith. Lack of faith in, in wish fulfillment. The situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. Whatever happened was a blessing in disguise. And you may not see it that way. It's time for you to continue. I mean, you have to step over that finish line. Which hasn't quite been stepped over yet. Or this card would be upright. The cycle isn't quite complete. You have the ability to, to do it. To keep moving forward. Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aquarius. We have Pisces. We have Cancer. We have Leo, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, any sign, doesn't matter. We have Aries. The King of Coins is in the middle, moving on to a much better place. But you have to have faith. You have to get grounded. You have to devote your time to it. Whatever this is, whatever this new opportunity is that you're moving toward, towards could be stable and secure. But you have to put your sword down. And you have to let somebody in. And you have to let go of that mental conflict of rejection. Feeling like, you know, if I let give this person my heart, they're just going to reject me. You have to trust that they won't. Oh, so you have a soulmate connection here. Probably with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn because we have them twice and they're right together. And when you have the king and queen, there's a soulmate connection here. There's an opportunity for stability, security. And it's practical. And it's a very nurturing energy. Whoever this person is that you need to have faith in and trust is very caring and nurturing. But right now, you're just thinking about it. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about opening your heart you're thinking about the hurt that has happened in the past take all the time that you need there's no hurry to rush into this relationship but you do have to make a clear decision And maybe you've made that clear decision to master your emotions and allow this to grow.
it's time to to stop guarding it's time to step out of that that uh to step over that fence okay to let your guard down there's an undeniable bond here between you and another person and there's a strong magnetic attraction <laughs> there's definitely lust involved And there's an opportunity for growth here. Now, you are dealing with a very beautiful individual. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Could be a Capricorn. But there's an opportunity for growth here. I feel as though at this time you are probably vibrating very highly and you probably have many options, Cancer. You probably do. This is the birth of something new. So something new is here for you in another three. Your prayers have been heard. And they are bringing you a blessing. A soulmate connection. That's what I see. That leads to something stable, secure, abundant, and solid in long term. This is something that you can take to the bank if you allow it to grow. This person is very responsible, whoever this person is that you are thinking about as I give you this reading. But your fears are holding you back. And there's no rush. There's no rush. You don't need to rush into this. When things grow, it takes time, it takes nurturing, it takes watering. Allow it to unfold as slowly as you need it to unfold. There is an opportunity for something very long term here. But you have to let go of the past let go of what you've been holding on to let go of the fear and stop resisting it somebody is resisting but there's an opportunity for happiness and commitment perhaps even marriage if you haven't met this person yet you could meet them at some sort of gathering some sort of celebration I think it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any other sign, but it's pretty Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is pretty prominent here. Could be any sign, though. But I feel as though there's an opportunity for growth, there's an opportunity for happiness, and there's an opportunity for love. And marriage. But you have to get over this hurt of whoever it is that burned you and not bring that baggage into this new relationship. So I feel as though this is a month of trusting, trusting, trust the universe's plan, trust that everything happened for a reason, have faith in love, have faith in a commitment, have faith in this person. Don't let the past liar still control you set that liar free make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take you are being guided to trust and have faith in this new whatever it is this new person we're going to get you one of these Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. And there is happiness here.
Stop waiting on the sidelines. To heal your life and reach your goals, get up and take some risks. Break a few rules. Shout to the heavens with joy and exuberance. Clap your hands with glee. Be silly. Don't hold back. Allow childlike wonder to flood your life. Take a day off from work. Experience and celebrate even the smallest events of life. Discover what's great about each day. This is not the time to be reserved. Embrace every aspect of life. Smell the daisies. Good times are ahead if you just let loose a bit. Like I said, step over that fence. An unseasoned traveler believes that happiness only comes after one has reached the destination. However, the sacred traveler knows that the fastest way to manifest your dreams is to be happy right now. You don't have to wait to experience joy. Your enthusiasm about what you already have will ignite miracles in your life. Without enthusiasm, something inside you sleeps. You must awaken, and then your relationship will flourish. Your health becomes vibrant, and your connection to the Creator deepens. It is a time of awakening. It's a time of transformation for you. Allow yourself to trust. Allow this relationship to blossom. Believe there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection. If you haven't met this person, this person, you might meet them at some sort of gathering. And you may feel instantly familiar with them. Because I feel like this is a past life connection. It's prominent. I really feel like it is. It's somebody that you have known before. And you may not know them in this lifetime yet, but when you see them, when you look in their eyes, you will know. So I feel like you guys have an opportunity for happiness here if you allow it. Stay tuned for the weeklies.